What's up, folks? So if you're tuning in, you're one of those guys that want to talk about the rigging of the new boat, because today we're picking it up from Cornfield Crappie Gear, and actually, even the electronics are done on it. But today, what we're going to focus in on are the mounts. We're going to talk about it at his shop uh, as he walks it th us through it, and then we're going to take it back to the garage, and I'm going to give you my thoughts on exactly you know, what, what my, maybe my concerns are, but also what I'm liking. And um, it's a process. So I'm excited. I know Cornfield Crappie Gears put a lot of work into the boat and uh, and they're awesome. So you need to check them out as you're about to see. Um, also, again, want to thank Bass Cat, s, s Marine out of uh, Clarksville, Indiana. You check out SS Marine. I didn't say enough about them in my last episode for this. So I wanted to make sure I got that out there. Um, I'm wearing my sniping jersey today because they're coming out with four new braids and they're sh they should be out as early as Monday or Tuesday of this coming week. So check that out. I know the pre-sale is going on right now on my website on sniping braids. So we're excited about having all the different weights that you could want as a crappie angler. That's totally stoked. But that's for another episode. Uh, I'm excited, man. Bass Cat. Uh, picking out the new boat, picking up the new boat. I've had it for now roughly about a week, week and a half. It's been down here in Kentucky for about a week of that time frame. And so it's been down here a while and I haven't seen it since. So uh, I'm going to see it just like you're about to see it. So next time you see me, we're going to be walking into Cornfield Crappie Gear. Thanks for watching. Here we go. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. All right, folks, this is a rigging video, okay? So it's not for everybody, but I'll tell you what, if you want to know what goes into rigging a brand new boat, this is it. Cornfield Fishing Gear is my choice of mounts. They support three pound fishing. I love them. They've been with me for a long time and Mark goes the extra mile, as does Nate, as you're going to see in this episode, okay? So uh, we're going to work on the boat. We're going to get it loaded up and hopefully back to my house at the end of this episode so that we can put it in the water. And yes, folks, I have not put this boat in the water. I have not even turned the key on it yet. And uh, well, check it out, folks. We go to work at it in Cornfield Fishing Gear. They go the extra mile for three pound fishing. Here we go. It is a, a Definitely learning and process and in, in uh, typical, it, 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 we're winging it. There's a lot of adjustment. There's a lot of different ways we can set this up. So trying to get it so it sets up what you want. That's all we try to do as much adjustment and amount as we can so that there's a lot of adjustment that can be done to fit your, your particular application. So what we've decided is we're actually going to take the 126 SV. So the original plan was to have two live scope monitors right there in front of me. Instead, we're going to keep the 8616 there. We're going to move the 126 SV off to the side along with the mapping. And uh, they're hooking me up right now uh, to make it happen. But I actually am going to have to bring the boat back to make some final tweaks to it. Um, but right now, this will get me on the water so we can use it right away. So top notch group here. All right, so let's slow it down. I got up there and I sat down at it and I said, man, this is awesome. I actually thought the height was actually very good, but I, he did shorten it to accommodate what I wanted. And when I, we started messing with it, actually trying to have it fold down, we identified very quickly that it actually couldn't lock because of how short I wanted it. So my bad, my fault. And Mark is so awesome, he was accommodating that. So. We had several options and I'm sure we would have customized it to make it work. But at the end of the day, I really wanted, needed to get the boat back. And at the same time, I don't necessarily need a 126 SV up there. So our plan was to move that off to the side. That's where the co-angler will be at and that's where he'll want to see it anyway. He won't want to look over my shoulder at what I'm looking at. So it made more sense. We started to go to work and we actually get this thing done while I'm there. And that's what makes Cornfield Fishing Gear so great is that they'll, they, I mean, they truly made this happen this evening. And so uh, my hat's off to them. And you're going to get to see a, a finished product here at the end of this video because of that. So I know you're busy right now, Mark, but tell the fine folks at home some of the maybe a new product or something you want to talk about that's coming out of Cornfield Crappie Gear. 
mainly the, the, that telescoping mount, kind of yeah. like what you had, the one with the, the swivel telly, the swivel base on it, and all that. And we got, we jumped into the game with the hand-operated live scope. Oh, so that's we, right. We got an over-the-side pole and a really badass-looking uh, mount to put it in, so that it all swings into the boat, so nothing's hanging out the side of the boat. We machine all that, and, and yeah, if you just want one someday, we'll get to drill more holes and a new bass cap. Oh yeah. Nothing well, that's bring, the plan. So. We had pictures of that somewhere drilling a four-inch hole in the bass cat and fiberglass <laughs> everywhere. It's <laughs> a beautiful sight, especially for a Saturday morning at 8 o'clock. Yeah. So these are the new... I'm not going to go over the electronics in this episode, but this is the new Solex. And basically what's going to end up happening is this 126 SV is going to sit right there. Somewhere in that neighborhood, I yeah. guess. Maybe even lower. Here, I'm really a, this is what we call the six-inch single mount. So because of the six inch arm, so I believe since you want it to sit really low, we're gonna switch over to a four inch arm, which is gonna drop it all down. We'll take this plate off the top and add our plates that go on the top that makes it a double mount. So it's, our stuff's kind of an erector set. You can add, change, move, and all kinds of adjustment. That's what the whole idea in designing them was trying to get as much adjustments because every boat model, every boat setup, every individual is different. So we got to try and do everything we can to get as much adjustability so that we can get it set up the way each angler needs it set up on his boat. So we came here with one plan and now we're leaving with another and these guys are on it, man, on top of it, putting it all together, making it work. And it just turns out absolutely beautiful. But I'm telling you, they go the extra mile. They've got what you need. The new side mount will be put on in the nep not the next episode, but actually after the uh, the one we review the electronics on the boat. But uh, check it out. There's sickness right there. It's about to hit the water. I cannot wait, folks. So check this out. I came here. It was mounted. Some things were a little bit off, and we come to a conclusion that we can make some tweaks to it to make it all work. And right here, this is the perfect scenario. Check it out. So. Move Go ahead. So, no. so we we didn't even take the base off. We didn't take the lower knuckle off. We didn't even take the arm off. We didn't take the, this knuckle off. We just took the plate off the top that was a single, put the double plate, which you can buy separately on, on the web page because a lot of guys will start out with one unit and then decide they want to add one. So there's an add-on kit. You don't have to buy a whole new mount from us. That's you can sweet. buy the add-on kit. Well, to do the double mount, we have to add a bolt or another arm over here. I like to put two arms on it because you've got the weight of two units on it. So we, instead of just having a single mount with one arm, we add the arm and all that. So we can, it's just an add-on you can do. We can do that on the telescoping mounts. We can do that on this. We can do the add-on kit. And so you don't have to buy the whole new unit. Right, so we basically took what you had and was a single mount and decided you wanted to put two units over here. So we just took the single mount, turned it to a double mount. And I like it. We're almost done. Check out that setup, folks. That's freaking awesome. All right, we just finished it up. I'll take it home, I'm gonna give you a review. Not a review, but actually just a walkthrough, a little bit closer walkthrough of my garage. But anyway, thanks guys, I appreciate it. Yep. Top notch Ooh. group right here, without a doubt. All right, we're back in the garage. Let me tell you, I gotta thank Cornfield Crappie. Cornfield Fishing Gear, okay, I gotta, I gotta completely thank them. They actually stayed after hours, made sure it got done. Again, we got there and I got there and it was like, we wanna do some tweaking here and they stayed longer than they ever needed to to help three pound fishing out, so I appreciate it. So let me walk you through, again, this is just about the mounts. This is some of the stuff that Cornfield Crappie Gear did. This is not about the electronics and everything else that went in on this boat. So we're talking about the mounts. So first and foremost, I went ahead and did the pedestal seat holes. They're reinforced underneath the deck, which is really nice. Now, a lot of people knew that if I did something here, I was going to have to take the pedestal out every time I did the trolling motor. So this is actually only 12 inches from here to there. That will allow it, hopefully, to slide past the seat when it's on its side. So there's your look, right? So it looks like, yes, it will slide past it right there. And if it doesn't, then I'll have to remove the seat. But it looks like it will because there's some give on that cushion you know what I mean this one on the other hand is 16 inches off the side that gets it as far away as possible across giving that angler all the room needed on that side now have a look this is it got my 8616 right here man foot pedal feels really good right there 
I've got my Solix 10, I've got my 126 SV, and then I've got my 86 16 right there. That's the look of it. Now, Cornfield Crappie Gear has a custom mount for bass cats. So if you're considering a bass cat, they are your guys right there. I went with the folding mount right there. Originally, we had talked about doing the, the double monitor setup, and this just made it more simple. I, I completely agree. I think it looks just awesome right now. And uh, that's the deal. Now, it does look like I will have to put the monitor down when I go up and down with my trolling motor. So that's going to take some time to get used to. Um, again, this is always a process. So um, if that bothers me, I will put the live scope a little off center or something like that. But a lot of people do that. So every time I bring the trolling motor up, I'll put my monitor down first. And uh, that's just the way you roll down the lake. Now, what's great is it's secure when it goes down the lake that way, when it's down on the on the ground. And so, you know, it's just something you have to get used to. But this monitor here will not be here permanently. It'll only be up when I have in a tournament. And uh, so we have to decide the location of those permanently. But that is the double mount setup right there. And that's sweet. So that's it, folks. Uh, don't forget... Pre-sale for sniping braid, that's going on right now. And those braids are going to be here any day. They should be here tomorrow, in fact. So they will go out as soon as they do. Awesome. New 10, 12, a 15, a 20 pound, everything you could ever want. So, And then the next video you're going to see here is going to be the actual electronics. Now, there's some more stuff that needs to be done. So that will be the ne next episode. And uh, you're going to enjoy it because there's some awesome stuff. Amped Outdoors is involved. Um, a lot of little interesting things that we've done to the boat to make it uh, hopefully be the forever boat for at least now. Forever is just now. Um, what else can I tell you other than thank you Cornfield Crappie Gear, thanks Bass Cat, and thank SNS Marine out of Clarksville, Indiana. So um, they're awesome. Peace out. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing partnered up with these fantastic companies.